hey guys welcome back so in this lecture we are going to install tor and are going to change the security settings of tor for more privacy and protected browsing so until now we have completed all the theoretical section of this course and now we are heading towards the practical section so let's go to our computer screens quickly okay here we are on a computer screens first of all uh, open your browser search tor and you'll find the first link just click on it and you will be on the official page of the Tor browser. Use a mask, use a Tor, your donation will be matched by friends of Tor. Okay. Explore freely. So download Tor browser. And you can download Tor for Windows, for Mac, for Linux, for Android. And as we discussed earlier, uh, for Android, you can also download Tor from Play Store as Orbot or Orbox. So let's download for Windows as this is a windows pc so it started downloading so the download is finished let me check the downloads folder for it and install tor browser quickly so just give me a minute download folder yeah installer i'll first cut paste it and paste it in a tor folder i have made on the desktop so install it do you want to run this file yes run select your language english okay destination folder oh it's only 200 mb so i am currently installing it on my desktop so let's see so it's taking some time to install let's let's give it uh, some time so it has been installed completing tor's browser setup run the browser okay finish so you can see there is a tor browser folder made on my screen let's see the browsers Okay, these are just installation files, no need to toggle with them. So let us quickly start the browser. Oh, I think it's taking some time because it's starting for the first time on this computer. Click configure to adjust network settings. Okay, if Tor is blocked in a country, you can configure it here, but it's not banned. So let's click on connect. Okay. To be on a safer side, it's not recommended to use Tor in a full screen mode. So let's skip it in this side only. And it's also not, not advisable to, to access the dark web. While all the tabs or actually every application, some applications are open in a computer. So let's close them. So here is the main page of the Tor browser. Use a mask, use a Tor, search DuckDuckGo, resist the surveillance pandemic okay so that's a simple page nothing more just some tor is free to use because of donations from people like you okay so let's let's quickly see the add-ons installed in this browser https everywhere encrypt the web automatically use https security on many sites no script maximum protection for your browser no script allows active content okay no plugins installed no themes installed so these two action extensions are very important okay and let's see all oh, logins and passwords add-ons okay library let's see the options actually options general options always check if tor browser is your default browser okay so here in my pc tor is not the default browser chrome is default browser so if you want tor as your default browser you can click on this checkbox tabs language and appearance okay show tab previews in windows taskbar zoom these are just normal settings text related settings i can say nothing important in here files and applications files and always ask you where to save files okay this options is very important because uh, whenever websites try to install anything without asking you this browser will ask you the location where to install that so it's kind of safe applications choose how to tor browser handles the files you download okay so okay in this course we are not going to download anything so let's just leave this section allow tor to automatically install updates okay performance okay browsing this these general settings are just random settings you can you can uh, make them or use them according to you home new windows and tabs so the home page would be about tor we just saw and new tab if you open a new tab it would be a blank page okay here is the blank page let's see the search options 
address bar you can do as you like you can select options as you like default search engine DuckDuckGo okay DuckDuckGo is a dark web search engine uh, we will be opening the onion version of DuckDuckGo that is the DuckDuckGo on the dark web in this lecture let's see the privacy and security okay prioritize dot onion science sites when known ask every time so privacy and security sections is quite kind of important so please pay attention clear data yes so as we are in a permanent private browsing mode so cookies and site data will not be stored but to be on a safer side let's manually clear the data logins and passwords unlike chrome tor browser does not store any kind of passwords or email so you are super safe in this context let's see change master okay it also uses a master password uh, and you cannot find that in any of the browsers history always use private private browsing mode you should always check that always permissions okay location camera microphone e each and every permission should be disabled right because these are the main sources where people can get access to your computers so each and every these settings should be disabled each and every permission should be disabled so i'm disabling all of them camera microphone notifications because of it the websites try to get control of your computer several hackers are in search of this kind of settings so disabling it gives a lot of security to your browser Let's disable it everything virtual reality disable right let me check it again because these are the main main and most important points of security quickly check again to play block pop-up windows always take that one when websites try to install add-ons yes always okay security level standard safer and safest standard all tor browser and website features are enabled okay disables website features that are often dangerous causing some sites to lose functionality and safest are only allows websites features required for static sites and basic services okay uh, we will always use the safer version because standard version is more vulnerable and the safest will prevent many websites so the safer version is the best block dangerous deceptive content yes always stick on that it's very important query osp oscb responder servers okay so it's tor settings use a bridge okay if if uh, in your country tor is banned you can use bridges but here it is not so we are not going to use it advanced no need to do anything here in the tor section but privacy and security setting was kind of important so this were the settings of tor browser actually the settings we discussed right now are very important okay so let's see the duckduckgo browser actually see the duckduckgo what is duckduckgo browser duckduckgo by default searches the surface web but it can also open dot onion websites thus it can also access the dark web but you cannot surf in the dark web right it will always open the surface web websites on the surface web but uh, it can open dot onion websites so let's let's open duckduckgo browser it's like in google there is chrome so in tor there is duckduckgo right there are many of them actually duckduckgo cannot be used to surf the dark web for surfing dark web we will be using another browser later in this course that is excavator right start of being so duckduckgo is a very safe browser it will never uh, track you so here is the onion link of the duckduckgo browser which is located on the dark web so for more security we are opening the onion link of the DuckDuckGo browser it's the same DuckDuckGo just on the dark web so you see it's taking some time because it is we are accessing the dark web so because of the blockchain technology we discussed earlier it's taking some time so privacy simplified help spread DuckDuckGo we won't follow you we don't store your personal information ever so uh, that's it we don't follow around with ads we don't track you it's total opposite of google actually because it it does not store any of your data indeed it it will not ask you to create accounts and anything so it's great duckduckgo is very famous and actually so people use very it very much so yeah guys that's it for this lecture we learned about installing tor made some privacy settings and finally open duckduckgo in the onion version of the duckduckgo actually in the next lectures we will be surfing the dark web and we will be opening the real dot onion websites which are really hosting hosted on the dark or we can say deep web so see you there thank you very much